The battle for the mind is the most important aspect of the Christian life. So Peter says, think clearly and exercise self-control. A bizarre verse, difficult to translate, literally means gird up the loins of your mind and be sober-minded. Let me translate it for you straight from the Greek to the English. Don't be drunk in your mind. And what does he mean there? What he means is, you've got to think clearly. In order to do this, you need all the current faculties that God has given you operating correctly. You don't want anything shadowing your mind. You don't want anything clouding your mind. You don't want anything rendering your ability to do what you know you should do at all. You don't ever want this. And this is why Christians should never, ever be drunk or stoned. Ever. Ever. Okay? You don't want this. Because when you're drunk, when you're stoned, your brain does not operate correctly. And let me tell you, I, I, I've been both drunk and stoned in my life, and nothing good ever happened. Nothing good. You know what my problem is? My problem is my greatest strength. It's my mouth. It does wonders for the Lord. And when I'm an idiot, <laughs> it is a curse from the devil, man. I hate my mouth, you know. When I was young, you know, 140 pounds, had a couple beers. You know, when you weigh 140 pounds, a couple beers, you might as well drink a keg. And my mouth would get going. I'd say, hey, buddy, hey, 350-pound mean guy right here, 135. Let's go. Let's go. My mouth is an idiot. You know, I mean, even in the context of marriage, man, I will never have more than, man, a beer or two, even with dinner around my wife when we go out to dinner. Let me tell you why. I offend her when I'm sober. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need any help. I don't need any help. We want the date night to end good, not with tears and separate cars, right? It's not what we want. And, and the reason for that is when my mind is clouded or shaded, my tongue gets loose. And I don't have the faculties to, you know, pull that back in. It just, it just gets stupid. And so what happens is I need to make sure that I'm sober-minded all the time so that I can exercise self-control and I can allow myself to be shaded or shadowed. Okay? That's why, as Christians, anything that intoxicates us is not Okay? It doesn't matter if it's drugs, it doesn't matter if it's alcohol, it doesn't matter if it's prescriptions. We need to make sure that we have our faculties together so that we can be who we are. And that's one of the first things that changes with people who get on drugs. They change. They're a different person. It's weird. It's weird. And by the way, in the New Testament, the word for witchcraft in the Greek is pharmakia. Guess what word we get from that in the English? Pharmacy. Think about that. Drugs have witchcraft-like powers over the human mind. Think about that. You've got to think clearly because, I mean, some of you right now, you don't agree with me at all. Because your mind is clouded, your judgment has been misled, and you don't yet understand or agree with the truth of Christ. You're still operating in a clouded manner.